Everyone is familiar with honey, but where are you getting your honey from? So much of that honey bought in the stores right here is processed, and many of you don't know about it. And very few of us really understand the benefits of organic raw honey. But I'm going to show you a simple experiment that you can do at home to determine if it's raw and healthy versus processed. But I want you to know the health benefits of raw honey. It's rich in antioxidants. It has antibacterial properties. It's good for wound healing. It soothes sore throats. It boosts immunity. It's great for your digestive health. It's a great energy source. It's good for skin health, heart health, as well as cognitive function. So if we look at raw honey, it's packed with powerful antioxidants, flavonoids, phenolic acid. This helps protect free radicals. Here, when it's processed, it's been stripped. The enzymes are gone, the minerals, the vitamins. And one thing about raw honey, it has antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal properties. Yes, it's great for the common cold. It's great for sore throats. And honey has also been linked to help improve heart health by reducing risk factors like blood pressure and cholesterol levels. And despite being a sweetener, raw honey can potentially aid in weight management by helping regulate appetite and metabolism. And studies show that the antioxidants of raw honey help support brain health and cognitive function and is commonly used to help alleviate respiratory conditions like coughs, problems in the lungs, as well as asthma. And processed honey can have a significant impact on our sugar levels because many of these honeys have added sugars to them as well because the taste is not as distinct or as tasteful as raw honey is. And I want you to understand that there are many different types of raw honeys, but there's one superior honey that I'm sure many of you already know. It's called Manuka honey. It has methyl glyoxyl. That is the key strength within the honey that really has those strong antiviral and antibacterial properties. This is great for helping to kill H. pylori, the bacteria in your stomach that causes ulcers. Also great on your skin as well. And now comes the fun part. Here's a test you can do at home as well. Is it healthy, good honey, or is it processed, not healthy honey? And here's what we need to do. We're going to take our unhealthy honey, the processed honey, and we're going to take a glass of water and we're going to squeeze it in and watch what happens. It just goes right to the bottom. It's the, the viscosity doesn't even float. It goes right like water. Yes, it's going to sit on the bottom. Nothing inside the glass. It goes right down real fast because it's been stripped. It's been processed, it's been heated up. When we take our healthy honey, our Manuka, watch the difference. Watch the viscosity. Okay, watch how it clumps. You see the clumps, how it goes down, nice and thick. It doesn't dissolve. And that thickness stays on the bottom. Look how it goes down, nice and thick. Okay, it doesn't dissolve as it goes down. That's how you know healthy honey from unhealthy honey. So I hope this video serves you well. Remember, use your honey wisely. It's very, very healthy for you. Very great for your respiratory system, your heart, your brain. And when you're using it in your teas, make sure it cools off a little bit before you put it in. Because remember, heat kills enzymes. Enzymes are so important for your body. It helps repair it, helps heal it, and it will keep you healthy a long time. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.